Okay, so today I want to start implementing Blue Ocean in the Plasma team. And the first thing that I want to do, even though it's not very a very big change, but I think it's important and it's also really easy to do, so I'm starting with the easy stuff, is if you zoom in into Blue Ocean New Style, the top of the title bar, you can see that there's this white line all over the title bar which looks nice, gives a bit of sense of depth. So let's try to implement that one. Again, really easy, so we shouldn't have any difficulty. 2000 years later. So this is the file that you, you, we should be changing. Now, we need to add a line. And to do that, let's actually remove the old ID for the header top, header top left and top right, because we'll need to create the new elements and then regroup them into, you know, uh, a new group. So let's take it off. One, two, and three. Easy. And now let's actually draw the line. So uh, for the top line, let's just use our rectangle. It's red, of course, because why not? And this will be our top line. It shouldn't be red, but I'll keep it red for a second to actually check whether by building Plasma Frameworks, I'm actually using the new uh, SVG that I'm working on. Always make sure, like do a tiny change to make sure that you're working on the new stuff and you're not accidentally using the old ones. So let's go to build frameworks, Plasma Framework make install and as you can see there is no top red line which means that it didn't work so you see why it is important to check that you're actually using the correct uh, svg so let's figure uh, what's happening six and a half hours later Let's go with uh, arc dark a second and then go back to breeze to make sure changes are applied. Still nothing. Oh, that's weird. I tried it like one hour ago and it was working. But the line is there. What's going on? A few moments later. Of course it's not working because I said I was going to do something that I didn't actually do and that is to create the new heading top. So we need to actually get both and then again group and now that we've grouped them we can give them the ID using where is it object properties header top like this. And now if we replace again plasma shell Finally, we will see our line. Hopefully. Please. Still nothing. <laughs> I'm very unlucky. Uh, uh, I didn't build it. I didn't build it. These kind of things always confuse me. That's why I always check whether I'm doing the right thing. Sorry about that. So uh, make install. Like this. And then we can replace. And this time for real, it will work. No way that it's still broken. and we've got our line, beautiful. Now let's also make uh, this line into this element, the top left and top right elements. So this time we need to use a path, so it should go like this. Whoops, I got it wrong. Uh, like this, and um, I need one more node, like this, nicely. So this is where the line actually disappears to give the impression of 
3D stuff going on. So let's copy it, flip it and put it in the other side of the plasma theme. And now let's group this element and also group this one like this. And now this one is going to be Heather top right. And this one is going to be Heather top left like this. Nice. So you can see that the red line is actually disappearing into the corner. It's not like amazingly beautiful, but uh, it's enough for us. Also in other applets, since it, since it's consistent, we can it, it takes effect pretty much everywhere. And now we can actually choose its actual color. I tweaked a bit before doing the video and um, it has to be white because uh, that's the whole point. But we'll also make it a bit transparent so that on a dark theme it will be like grayish instead of being just white, which would look horrible. So let's go with, I don't know, midway transparency for now and see how it looks. We can always change it later if necessary, so... With later, I mean after the videos, when we are doing the merge request stuff. So it's barely visible. I cannot see it at all, so it's not enough. Let's go with, I don't know, 83. Right now I'm going with random values. Uh, later on I can see what is the exact value that's used for the window and how much I can reproduce it. Uh, how nice is this transparency? So now I can actually see the line. And it looks as expected, I would say. Maybe it's even a bit too much, so let's... I don't know. Um, 75 transparency yeah looks good to me so let's try to go with breeze dark now colors breeze dark and it looks horrible easy to guess that it was going to happen so 75 is too transparent so let's Everything went dark theme, nice. And let's go with, uh, let's get back to 50 and see if it's too much. It will be hard to come up with a value that's uh, nicely looking both for, you know, dark and light, but that's our job. It's still very light, like, Actually, no, you can see that it's barely visible in the dark theme, so... Yes, too much. A bit too much. Let's go with 27, 24, okay. And this one looks okay. I have an idea to make it work, so don't worry about that. My idea is, let's do it like this, so it's fairly transparent right now. Let's take this element, let's start working with this one right now. Duplicate it, so now we've got two, so let's put it here, make, the, make it underneath the other one. So right now we have this element and the two rectangles, which look the same right now, but what we can do is to add class and make it I'm sorry need to check out the telegram pdg message regarding this color scheme view background like this and then fill current color and of course we remove the style of this one becomes black but uh, basically what we're seeing is that instead of using a color that we give you use the background color of the current theme so that's going to be uh, 
white for the uh, light team and dark for the dark theme and basically we put the this light thingy above it and we can even make it I bet a bit more opaque this time so uh, okay so it's a bit um, uh, still to light I put a random value so we can get back to I don't know 20 it's fine and because uh, in the the problem is that if I just put the light uh, transparent thingy it will look almost invisible in the breeze light theme but if I put the view color which is white and then the white thing over it is going to be still white and white is much more easy to see in the light team because the header is actually grayish so that that's what I'm doing so we can see that now it looks okay let's go for this and see how it looks in breeze light and yeah it looks like it's supposed to look so you can see the difference is that in the corners which we haven't still updated it's invisible whereas on top you can actually see it so this should be the right way forward so let's also apply this change over the sides so this one we copy paste so now we've got two right uh, it's difficult to work with invisible things, you know? Nice, it works. We've got the white line that disappears into the corner. So this one works, let's do like this. Yes, I'm still not like 100% 100, 100 sold on the appearance, but uh, to change the appearance, I'll actually wait for the person that implemented the line in Windows to pop up and then we can discuss it. But I had to make the line to make sure that it's consistent with everything so for now uh, I'll stop here so this was and that's it okay so next up I'll just cut the video so I can separate but uh, I'll do right now try to work on that bug of the corners being a bit weird. So We'll see into the next episode tomorrow tomorrow for sure eventually